many seniors become a victim of romance fraud, one of the many scam attackers used to prey upon elderly victims in the digital age. Scammers target the elderly to take advantage of their polite and trusting nature, as well as their typically stable financial situation. The best defense against these attacks is the ability to recognize them and end contact with the scammer. Even better is to gain the knowledge needed to avoid these scams in the first place. According to the FBI, senior citizens collectively lose over $3 billion to elder fraud every year. Here are the most common scams. Romance Scam This unfortunately happens to many elderly and quite often lonely folks. Cyber criminals pose as romantic partners looking to snag a gullible, lonely heart with a big bank account. Strangers seemingly coming out of the blue, trying to befriend you and often taking advantage of a tragedy needed to be treated with extra caution. Not all good Samaritans are true friends. Many just want to befriend your money, and once they've accomplished that goal, they quickly move on to the next victim. Tech Support Scam The attackers pose as tech support, offering to fix non-existent computer issues. They try to convince victims to give them remote access to their computers and devices, which let them steal sensitive information. Once you've turned your computer or device over to them, you've granted access to all your information to these cyber crooks. My recommendation is you only turn over remote control of your computer or device to a person you trust enough to take that device out of your home with your password. Anyone else should never be allowed remote access. Grandparent Scam In these scams, the attackers pretend to be a relative, like a grandchild, requesting some financial assistance. The usual request is to send them money via Western Union or send them a gift card for the requested amount. The scam was actually tried on me back in 2015. If you're interested in finding out how I handled the situation, please read the article in the linked blog post. Government Impersonation Scam The attackers pose as government agents and try to scare the victim into thinking they'll be arrested or prosecuted unless they pay a fee. Remember, the IRS or government agencies may contact you, but they never threaten you or provide a link to click on to share information or send them money. They may ask you to contact them, but how you contact them is left up to you. Sweepstakes, charity, and lottery scams. Victims are told they won a prize or some money. But due to red tape, they must pay a fee in order to collect it. This category also includes scammers who pose as trusted charities, collecting donations from their victims. If you fall for the charity scam, the only beneficiary will be the scammer. You and the charity both become the victims. Remember that Bill Gates donates lots of money, but I've never heard of anyone winning five million or five cents from entering one of his contests. The Nigerian scam is also still very much alive and folks fall for it daily. Home Repair Scam This one's an in-person scam where criminals offer to work on home improvements for the victims. They usually charge up front. They say they'll be back with the proper tools and then never return. Anyone who says, this will never happen to me, unfortunately, it happens to many daily. Always be on your toes. These crooks are pros and are very persuasive. Stand your ground. Your gut already tells you this doesn't feel right. TV and radio scam. This is when phony ads run on TV or radio, fooling viewers and listeners into ordering their fake services, typically 
something like reverse mortgages or credit repair requiring victims to share sensitive data. The information you share is their prize and your loss. Family caregiver scam. In this situation, a bad actor close to the victim takes advantage of them and steals their money. To better protect against family member fraud, stay very involved with the elder. Do not let him or her become isolated. Anticipate incapacitation and appoint a trusted person as a power of attorney before the elder becomes incapacitated. One thing to keep in mind is that scammers always push victims into feeling like they have to act immediately. They hope to pressure victims into making rash decisions. Don't be duped by this ploy. If you ever feel pressured to click on a link or pay some money, step back and assess the situation. Don't let yourself or any loved ones become a victim. Get familiar with this list and share it with anyone you feel might be at risk of falling prey to these scams. If you or someone you know has been a victim of elder fraud, report the scam. By doing so, you'll increase the chances that the scammer will get caught and shut down. Stay safe, be free, I hope this helps.